Hello, today we are going to talk about triple integration. Just as we define single integrals for functions of one variable and double integrals for functions of two variables, so we can define triple integrals for functions of three variables. Let's first deal with the simplest case where f is defined on a rectangular box using Cartesian coordinates. Let's say that this uh, three-dimensional region, which I called A, is defined in x, y, and z, where x is bounded between A and B, y is bounded between C and D, and z is bounded between R and S. Just as for double integrals, the practical method for evaluating triple integrals is to express them as iterated integrals. This means that if f is continuous on the rectangular box, then the triple integral over the region A of our function f can also be written as the triple integral from r until s for z, c until d for y, and a until b for x of our function f, and of course dx, dy, dz. Taking into consideration the Fubini's theorem, this means that we integrate first with respect to x, keeping fixed y and z, then we uh, integrate with respect to y, keeping z fixed, and finally we integrate with respect to z. Since every limit of integration is constant, it means that there are other possible orders in which we can integrate. What I wrote just now will return the same value as the, the line above it, but in this case keep in mind that we change the order of integration. This means that for this last line we would integrate first in respect to y, then to z, then to x. Okay, so let's check out an example so that we can better understand this concept. Here we are asked to evaluate the triple integral over the region b of x, y, z power 2 dv, where b is uh, the rectangular uh, box, which is uh, defined in x, y, and z, where x is bounded between 3 and 5, y is, be uh, is bounded between minus 3 and 6, and z is bounded between 0 and 2. Here we have the triple integral we were asked to evaluate, so we can write it as the triple integral between 3 and 5 for x, minus 3 until 6 for y, and 0 until, z, uh, until 2 for z of our function, x, y, z power 2, dz, dy, dx. We already know that we should integrate first in respect to z. So we get the double integral from 3 until uh, 5 for x and minus 3 until 6 for y of x, y times the uh, integral of z power 2 evaluated for 2 and 0, dy, dx. Once again, we uh, integrate in respect to y. Making some calculations, we get uh, uh, 8 thirds times the integral from 3 until 5 um, of x for the function x times the inter inter integral uh, of y evaluated for 6 and minus 3 dx. Once again, we integrate in respect to dx, we uh, make some, uh, some changes and uh, we, multiply, uh, we multiply that for the integral of x evalu evaluated for 5 and 3. We make some calculations and that will give us the value of 288. Now, if you are asking yourself if, uh, if we change the, the order of integration, if we really will get the same value, we can also test that out. So, for the exact same exercise and the same uh, uh, triple integral, we are going to change the, the order of integration. So, this time we are going to say that the triple integral can be written as a, the, the triple integral from 0 until 2 of z, 3 until 5 for x and minus 3 until 6 for y of our function x, y, z power 2 dy dx dz. We already know we integrate first in uh, respect to y, so we get the uh, double integral from 0 until 2 of z and 3 until 5 of x 
of our function x z uh, power 2 of the integral of uh, y uh, evaluated from evaluated for the value 6 and minus 3 dx dz once again we already know that we should integrate in respect to x we make some calculations and we multiply that by the integral from 0 until 2 of z power 2 of the integral of x evaluated for 3 and 5 dz. Lastly, we integrate in respect to z. We substitute everything um, with the values we were given times the uh, integral of uh, z power 2 evaluated to 2 and 0. And that gives us the value of 288.